control room of wild ass records uh, we're deep in the bowels of hell uh, hell michigan that is uh, we're starting a series of uh, updates here man updates from hell uh, video updates blogs vlogs whatever they call them nowadays uh, we're just getting into the computer age here uh, we're a little bit late but they don't call me last minute mike for nothing just got some good computer stuff here. We used to record all of our records on all this analog stuff in the control room. We started off with four track uh, tape to eight track tape to 16 to 24. And uh, now we're onto the computer, man. We're riding a boogie train right on into the 21st century. I'm gonna try to. Uh, looking for a camera right now that's compatible with it, this computer. Right now we're just using a little video cam here that's uh, attached to the computer, but uh, we're looking for a better one so we can do some editing and stuff, make some little videos to these tunes we're going to be recording. Uh, hope to have some stuff finished here pretty quick. Some new tunes for you, some boogie from hell. And uh, I made most of my uh, records right here. Uh, this is a control room that's Hell, I think we made uh, everything from uh, Proud to be Loud on up here. Parts of uh, Get on the Boogie Train were recorded at uh, Subterranean Studios in Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, which is where uh, Blackfoot did their album Strikes. But uh, I had uh, we uh, had the same uh, manager at one time, and he owned that studio. So uh, parts of uh, Get on the Boogie Train uh, were recorded there, but most of it was recorded here. And uh, all the recent stuff. Right now I'm playing my 1958 Fender Telecaster. And uh, this thing's been with me since I was 13, 14 years old, man. I uh, bought it for $75. And uh, hell, it's probably worth... Uh, five, six grand right now. If I wouldn't have taken the finish off when I was a kid, I stripped it, painted it sacadillic, and then uh, stripped it again, now it's natural, but I did all this when I was about 14, 15 years old. Uh, had that nice cream colored finish on it, man, that see-through cream color. They call it the Mary Kay uh, Blonde or whatever. But uh, some of you guitar players will know what I'm talking about if you're old enough. But uh, it's a great guitar, man. It's probably been on every uh, record I've recorded. I use it someplace for a rhythm guitar track or a slide guitar. It's actually on some recent stuff, uh, the Bad Machine album. Uh, it's the, it, this is a guitar you hear on Red Moon Rising. Uh, the Diablo Boogie uh, album. It's the uh, uh, guitar I'm playing uh, on Fried Jalapenas. Uh, love hoodoo. I'm playing this guitar for all the slide stuff. It's a really good guitar, man. <laughs> Nothing much uh, sounds like it. I haven't found one that sounded like it yet. And, uh, played it on a whole lot of gigs, man. Uh, like I said, since I was 13 or 14 years old, man, I used it for years and years and years. It's had a lot of beer spilt on it, had a lot of whiskey spilt on it, had a lot of blood spilt on it, man. A lot of sweat been on this guitar. Uh. Yeah, when I was just a boy. Yeah, when I was just a boy, 
man that's it for this uh update we'll keep you posted we got some new equipment coming this week and we're gonna get right started on some new stuff as soon as it arrives man it's supposed to get here by the end of the week and we got some good surprises coming up for you and uh thanks for listening brothers and sisters we appreciate it man and we'll see you next time <laughs>